So in, I, I touched, uh, briefly touched on sort of the partnership between Line 6 and, uh, and Bogner uh, sort of in the, in the introduction. Can you uh, tell me a little bit more about sort of how that came together and uh, just describe some, some of the meetings and some, you know, sort of how we, we came well, together. Well, the first and time I heard about Line 6, which was, I don't know, like was before you guys even contacted me before the Vetter stuff. And I heard about like, you know, there's this company, they're doing like sounds with zeros and one, you know. And I mean, I started a little bit of digital electronics, but you know, I'm not, no way of a hack of that. But you know, so like, I was kind of like, wow, how do you make, how do you create a sound with zeros and like, you know, like that, could any be like close to a guitar amplifier? And I was like, for me, like, wow, it can't be any good, you know? But then, of course, to the pod and stuff like this, my friends had, and I found a way to, uh, very soon that, you know, like, well, that's, that's pretty valuable tools, you know? And uh, so that was the first time I heard about them. Then, yes, you always told the guys that uh, the VETA, you know, when you guys wanted to uh, model some of my amplifiers, mm -hmm. uh, I actually went to you guys and see how you guys do it and we talked about maybe how we can improve and stuff. And then the next step was when you guys approached me about the, the spider valve and mm -hmm. you guys wanted to combine the tube model, uh, uh, like modeling the preamp with a tube power amp right. for certain reasons. And uh, that came about, I guess it had a pretty good reputation in your company. I, I'm sure you guys had a list of people and we did. It was like Reinhold Bogner, Reinhold Bogner, Reinhold yeah, Bogner. Yeah, I was Reinhold. Who, who yeah, was like, like it was like, like, like top ten. Reinhold, Reinhold, Reinhold. So who else is on there? Yeah. And so now here we are today to talk about this uh, your new amplifier line, Bogner Alchemist, right. uh, all tube, that's uh, designed by by you from the ground up. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about the philosophy behind the Alchemist amps? <coughs> philosophy. Yeah. So what what were you sort of looking How far for? Should I go? Far as far as you, okay, you know, well, the philosophy, but basically, it was like uh, my amplifier in my, my custom shop line usually is you know starts around roughly like let's say two thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and like, yeah, that's a big chunk of money for a lot of people. And always, but you know, I cannot make them cheaper in, in, in working out of North Hollywood, you know, with, with labor here and, and just like our process, how we do things, you know, it's just like. It's not really, you cannot, we cannot really make it cheap unless we cut corners on materials and stuff like this, which I don't want to do. So like the only way to do that is like you go to another country and you have cheaper labor, you know, um, not cheaper parts because we still use a lot of quality parts in this amplifier. And with work, through working with Line 6 on the, the spider stuff, I learned like, hey, you can make all of your products in China and, and you guys already figured out how to do that. Because, you know, I have no clue, like, you know, like how to make that stuff work over there. Right. Like, you know, I don't speak any Chinese. So then, you know, I approached Marcus and he, you know, he, he was open to the idea, like, you know, like, you know, you have a great distribution system. Why don't I design something? You kind of like help me out to produce it over there. And with your expertise and your, your team you already have, and then you distribute it because my distribution would be too small because right. you know you have to say uh, sure. quantities. And yeah, that seemed like a good idea to him. It sounded great to me, and uh, we went down to business. So we designed an amplifier, which is a little bit different than you know. I, I, I tried to make something like I didn't want to make like like a cheap ecstasy or something like, like a product already makes. I didn't want to make that, hey, here's the Chinese version of what you know. Right. So I was like, no, what what I don't have in my line is like a great. Fendry, West Coast, whatever, Dumble, da 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 da, you know, kind of amplifier. So we, we sat down and we said, okay, is there a market for it? You know, we said, yeah, there seems to be a pretty good market for mm -hmm. it. And so, yeah, we just started from there, like basically, like, you know, like not, not Marshall based, more like Fender based, but, you know, still also have, Get the the break up have some and gain and stuff like this, you know. Yeah. You have such great names for all of your amplifiers. What, what's so? Tell us oh, thank the you. name. Uh, so Alchemist. How did you come up with that name? And yeah, I don't know how I come up with it. It's just like you know, you contemplate like you know, it's just like things come to me. Like you know, the things you think like like uh, one contender was maybe Atma, which is like means soul. You know, but Alchemy is all. It's like an old school. It's not really chemistry. It was more, and it's more almost like a, like a um, metaphysical path of self-development of your consciousness. You know, they, they always say they go after the gold. You know, transforming metals into other like precious metals and things like this. But it's not about you know not after money. It was more like to figure out how to uh, work with 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 material things, which all of them have spirits, and you so we work on different levels. You know, we mm. totally forgot about the spirit part. But you know, so I thought, okay, transformation is great because you know basically you put something into this amplifier and you can transform yourself and you get more creative. You know, it's, it's pretty versatile. So I was like, wow, that's pretty cool, you know. Yeah, that's great.